Vertigo and Menier's Disease, A Breakthrough Solution. Are you tired of the constant battle with vertigo and Menier's disease? The dizziness, the nausea, the fear of another unexpected attack, it's exhausting. But what if I told you there's a way to break free from this cycle? Today, we're diving deep into the world of vertigo and Menier's disease. We'll explore the root causes, understand the symptoms, and most importantly, discover practical solutions that can transform your life. Let's start with the basics. Menier's disease is a disorder of the inner ear that affects balance and hearing. It can cause severe vertigo, tinnitus, and hearing loss. But what causes it? While the exact cause is unknown, many factors contribute to this, including fluid buildup in the inner ear, inflammation, and genetic predisposition. Now, let's talk about solutions. The good news is, there are steps you can take to manage your symptoms and improve your quality of life. Vestibular rehabilitation exercises are a cornerstone of treatment. These exercises help retrain your brain to compensate for the faulty signals from your inner ear. The first set of exercises are to be completed while sitting. The individual will keep their head still and slowly begin to look up and down while getting quicker as they go. Then eye movements back and forth should be completed. Try and focus on an object of each end of the eye jump. Now the eyes will remain focused forward while the head moves. First move the head up and down. Then still keeping the eyes forward, they will move their head right and left. Lastly, the head and the eyes will be moving. With the eyes open, the individual will nod their head up and down. The eyes should follow the direction of the head movement, initially slowly and then getting faster. Lastly, the head will be turned from right to left. Next, still sitting, the individual will take their finger or a pin and hold it about one foot in front of their face. Then they'll extend their arm all the way out in front of them. This in and out movement will be repeated 20 times while the individual watches the tip of the finger or object. The head should not be moving, just the arms and the eyes. While sitting, the individual will slowly shrug and roll their shoulders backwards 10 times. Then they'll roll their sh shoulders forward 10 times. Find a light graspable object like a tennis ball or a balled up pair of socks. I will be using a small child's ring. While sitting, bend forward and lay the object on the ground and then pick the object back up, sitting fully up between each movement. Maintain eye gaze on the object as you move. Complete 10 times with the right arm and then 10 times with the left arm. Now practice going from a sitting position to a standing position, then back to a sitting position 20 times. If you need to hold on to the handles of the chair, that is fine as well. Diet plays a crucial role too. Reducing sodium intake can help manage fluid levels in the inner ear. Incorporate foods rich in potassium and magnesium, as they can support overall ear health. Stress can exacerbate vertigo symptoms. Incorporate relaxation techniques like meditation, deep breathing, and yoga into your daily routine. Place your right palm on your heart, left palm on top of your forehead, and breathe into your nose, and breathe out your nose, one. Breathe in, 
and breathe out two. Breathe in and breathe out three. Breathe in and breathe out four. Focus only on your breathing. Five. Five more. Breathe in and breathe out one. Breathe in and breathe out two. Breathe in and breathe out three. Breathe in and breathe out four. Breathe in and breathe out five. Now place both palms on the side of your head and breathe into your nose and breathe out to your nose. One. Breathe in and out two. Breathe in through your nose. Your chest will expand if you are doing it properly. And out four. Breathe in and out five. Five more. Breathe in and out one. Breathe in and out two. Breathe in and out four. Breathe in and out five. Now place both palms onto your ears. Push it in and release one. Two, three, four, five. Five more. One, two, three, four, five. Now place both thumbs onto your nose and push it in and breathe out at the same time. One, two. Hold your breath and continuously breathe out as hard as you can. One, two, three, four, five. Place both palms on top of your forehead, close your eyes and hold it for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and release your hand. Do this every time when you suddenly feel dizzy in your head. These practices can help calm your nervous system and reduce anxiety. Remember, everyone's experience with vertigo and Menier's disease is unique. What works for one person may not work for another. It's essential to consult with a healthcare professional. For a personalized treatment plan. Taking control of vertigo and Menier's disease is a journey, not a destination. With patience, persistence, and the right strategies. You can significantly improve your quality of life. You're not alone in this. Share your experiences, tips, and questions in the comments below. Let's support each other on this path to recovery.